Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel Drones for Beginners, a channel where you're gonna find all you need. Drones for people that are gonna start in this hobby. Let's start with unboxing of the Bayang Toys X16. This drone is a drone with altitude hold. It's a drone that's capable to take or carry a GoPro or any action camera like a GoPro type. This drone costs less than $150, so let's see what's inside the first thing we're gonna find in the box it's gonna be a remote control this is a four channel remote control let's take it here and put it here I'll talk about the control later we have this little thing where we could put our smartphone the version of this quad copter that I have here is the X 16w that comes with a Wi-Fi camera this little Wi-Fi camera are not so good I don't recommend you to buy uh, this version with the camera because the best thing you can do with this quad copter is to put a action camera in it now it comes with here he comes with four landing legs we have to put them with a screwdriver. He has eight eight inch propels. It comes with a 11.1 volt balance charger. It has some extra screws. In this side we don't have any more. Now in the other side we have the drone. Let's see the drone. Here we have the Bayang Toys X16W Quad Carter. This is a great drone. It's a drone with a lot of power because it has brushless motors. Lots of people have buy the Sigma X8, but those drones don't have brushless motors. Those drones have brush motors. The brushless motors are the best because they have lots and lots of power. This drone is able to pick up and take a GoPro camera with no problem. And one of the best features of this drone is that it has altitude control. Now I'm gonna put the propels and his legs and let's see how it looks now you can see the drone almost ready to fly I forgot to mention that it comes with a battery the battery is in his battery bay let's take it out so you can see the battery it's a 11.1 3s battery that is this one you have to fully charge it because every time you receive a drone the battery is not full the battery is not in its full capacity it only is like in the 70 to 80 percent of its full charge so before you make your first flight you have to charge or fully charge your battery in the box there were two things i forgot to mention it's the manuals you have two manuals one manual is a short manual of the drone and another manual is a short drone for your wire camera and in the box I forgot to take this out it's the power plug that comes with the balancer and the best way to use this type of drone that has lots of power is with a GoPro camera and if you don't have the money to buy a GoPro that costs like 200 or 300 dollars you can use Chinese action cameras this little camera that i have in my hands sg cam 4000 it costs like 60 to 70 dollars and it comes with this accessory and all you have to do is put the camera in here it can make videos in full hd and only and you put it here this way and you can make very very well and very good videos and pictures because this little wi-fi camera it's not so good below in the description of the video i'm going to leave the links of this drone and this action camera and all the info you have and you need is going to be down there that's all for this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel in the next video i'm going to be testing this powerful bayang toys x16 now let's see the remote control the most important things you must must know of this control in this case this is a two mode mode two broken remote control in the center we have the switch to power on and power off the drone on top on the left you're gonna have the speed button it has only two speeds 
speed one and speed two. In the right, we have a button that helps us automatically take off the drone. All we have to do is let it press down and the drone will start its motors and then it's gonna take off by its own. All these little buttons that are here are train buttons. These ones, these buttons that are here that I'm uh, showing you, it doesn't have any function in this moment and this right side are gonna be for the next things. If you press down, you're gonna start the video. If you press up, you're gonna take a picture. If you press right, you're gonna start the headless mode. And if you press the center, it's gonna return to home. This drone is not the GPS version. So return to home is not gonna work very well. I don't recommend you to use it because this is not a GPS drone. So really the drone doesn't know where it, it is. To the left, I think it doesn't have any function. Now that's the most important things of this control. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be showing in my channel drones for beginners, drones of low cost, drones for everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let now see you in the next video when I'm going to test or fully test this great drone that's basically a drone for GoPro cameras or action cameras.